In a world where everything is unscripted, this is Roasty Toasty Ghosty. Uh, I'm gonna be whisper. I'm gonna be up here. Yeah, you should go close then. I'm whispering. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you go close, you know, the microphone looks like you have a big shiny nose. You have a big nose. I hurt my own ears when I talk like this. Okay, so I'm are gonna we, start. Are we starting this? Yeah. Alright. We do... We and do then that. Talk. And then we... Yeah. I, I never remember. Three, two, one. Whoops. Oh, that was not synchronized. Is there any way we can go back and try again? Sure. Uh, maybe I can, like, fix it in post. Good luck. Did you hear uh, that I used some fancy terms there? That was a fancy term. Fix post. it in post. Yeah. Um. Okay, so now I'm supposed to say hello and welcome to Roasty Toasty Ghosty. My name is Matthias, and... And I'm your bestie, Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hello. I'm gonna talk like this. Yeah, okay. This is my voice for today. I... Okay, so you're gonna be like a whisperer. I'm the whisperer. You're the ghosty whisperer. Ghosty whisperer. That's me. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was my stomach. Yep, it wasn't me. It was me. I really hope you can hear me. Uh, Yeah, I hope (laughs) so too. uh, Listening back. Yeah, you know, when when you do the thing with the thing. Yeah. Because that's what it's called. I know what Uh, it's called. (laughs) And then the thing is not going to detect your voice, so it's only my voice. It's only you talking to me. Yeah. How funny would that be? <laughs> Especially when I ask questions and don't get answers and or <laughs> answer. Like, how are you today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I answer something that no one <laughs> no one asks. That would be funny. Yeah, it would. Like that. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> Good. Can you cut out all of my sniffles? Did you oh, cut out really nice. and cut out all of my sniffles? As many as I possibly could. But sometimes you would sniffle or like clear your yeah. throat while I was talking. <laughs> and I didn't really want to cut out my talking. And no. I can't cut you out while I'm talking. I can't cut your sound and like shave it a bit. Mm. I can't do that. No. If I could then I would. <laughs> yeah. But you just felt the need to sniffle while I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're we're gonna see if you can... Uh... I'm gonna do my best to hold my sniffles until it's my turn to talk. Okay, but, you know, I have a more difficult task because you're talking all the time. <clears throat> yes. I don't talk as much as you do, so mm. that's gonna be easier for you. It's gonna be so, really fun talking today. Yeah, so you're welcome. So people listening to this should probably like have uh, the sound way up high. Well, I'm sure that the mastering in post. Oh yeah, we'll fancy talk. It will fix my volume probably. Yeah, probably. Normalize. Normalize. Normal eyes. You didn't have normal eyes today because you were uh, cutting onions. My eyes were burning. Yeah, that's not normal. And they like were burning for a really long time. Yeah, not normal eyes that. No, not really. No, unless you're cutting uh, onions, which you did. So maybe they are normal. But not for that long. No, that's uh, uh, unnormal. Mm hmm. Matthias. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. And how about you? I'm great. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not good. No. Not good. So we're going to try to keep this short. It would be great, but yeah. I doubt it's actually going to be short. No, we'll yeah. try to plow through this as quickly as we can, though. Okay. While still should being we... fun and entertaining. Yeah. Should we, like, go through the week? That would be really cool. Right now. Nothing really happened. That's it. Not much. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Last yeah. weekend, we had live Mad Libs. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. It, it went well. It went well. <laughs> It went well. Went well. Went well. Went well. Went well. It went well.
<laughs> okay, <Yeah>. so... <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's it. Yeah, that's all that happened this week. <clears throat> no, uh, on Sunday we went to the cinema. We did. Yeah, we watched the Fall Guy. Yeah, with Ryan Gosling. Yes, and Emily Blunt, and also Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, he was also there. Yeah, and he played uh, John Lennon in the movie we watched before. No Weird Boy. Right. And, uh, yeah, he's also in Shanghai Nights. Mm -hmm. As a boy. As a boy. As a boy. As a boy. Yeah, as a boy. As a boy. It was a good movie. Did you oh, enjoy yeah, it? Oh, yeah, Fall Guy. It was a good movie. It was. Um, yeah, I, I really liked it. I liked that they gave the stunt people some credit yeah. in a movie for once. It was really good. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot. Yes. And um, I I really liked the director to this movie. Mm -hmm. He started off as a stunt person and uh, even was an actor. Um, he was in the um, in TV series that I was talking about with uh, Sam Hung. Okay. Martial law. He was in the first season. He was like a um, hand-to-hand instructor, and he was very like macho and cocky. Okay. And and when he saw Samo, he was like he thought that was just a piece of trash. He a fat guy yeah. who can't fight, and then Samo just beat the guy up. Mm. And yeah, yeah, it, it's it was funny. So yeah, uh, he was in that too. And uh, not that it has anything to do with the movie, more no. than he's the director of, of that movie. Mm -hmm. So, back to the movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can you say about the movie without spoiling it? Not much. No. I'm just going to say it was a really good movie. Yeah, it, it's like a, it's about a stuntman who kind of, uh, he becomes a detective, you can say. Okay. Is, that's not it? I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> you don't <enough>. know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you saw the movie. I did. <laughs> okay. Leaving the movie. That was it. I mean, then we... We've been working every day. Um... Except... Well, hold on. I worked every other day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did not work on Tuesday. For reasons that I'm pretty sure I will remember at some point. I brought my life partner to a doctor's appointment to get his foot looked at. His broken foot. That was Tuesday? That was it not? Because I had every other day off. Yeah, and uh, on Thursday we had the day off. That was yesterday. Yeah, and that was because Christ is going back to heaven. He went to heaven. Okay. That's why. All right. In Sweden, mm -hmm. at least. I hope he had a nice trip. Yeah, I think so. Did you do anything exciting yesterday? Uh, no, I thought I was gonna be good and like edit some, uh, edit a video or something, but no. I just watched videos instead. Yeah, I really don't like that I did not edit. Mm. I should take every opportunity I get, but not yesterday. No. I helped my daughter deep clean her room. Mm -hmm. It really needed it. Yeah. And we put some stuff up for sale. And yeah, I think she's pretty happy. Yeah, I saw the results. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Yeah, it does. I kind of want a TV, but I don't know where to put it. You can take it just to put it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can... Uh... Do you want a couch? <laughs> that I really don't know where to put. Do you want the TV stand? Uh, the TV stand? The one that's in the hallway and now? That's really big, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe you need a new TV stand. I don't know where to put that either. On the floor. Yeah, but where? Uh, do you have any space on your floor? No, that's... Put it the, there. That's the problem. You don't walk anywhere? No. No? <laughs> you just crawl over furniture? <laughs> no. We climb in the ceiling. 
Oh, like well, monkeys. I have a I have a suggestion. Mm. You can put it right in the middle of the hallways. You can climb on that. No. 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 You can put it outside for the cats. Yeah. Yeah. Ask your sister. <laughs> Does she want a couch? Yeah. <laughs> or I a can... TV stand? You should put Do it. Your on... knees need a TV. No, I think they're good. Ha ha ha! Funny. Ha, ha. I asked like it was a plural anyway. Mm. Do your knees instead of does your niece ah. i am so funny yeah uh so do you need a lamp no um I'm so trying to get rid of a lamp yeah okay let's keep this short uh no more questions please <laughs> what no more questions <laughs> like i'm interviewing you yeah no more no questions. comments um okay so that's it we're happy that the week's over yeah yeah um so today's friday Mm -hmm. it is may 10th i had a friend yesterday her birthday was yesterday (laughs) you had a friend yesterday (laughs) (laughs) friend yesterday whose birthday was also yesterday (laughs) you only make friends on, on their, their birthday. Yeah. Is <laughs> We're it your friends. birthday today? <laughs> oh, so We're besties that, now. Th- that's why you want cake. Yeah. So you, <laughs> you... I befriend everyone whose birthday is the current day because I want their cake. Yeah. Okay. And then I never hear from them ever again. <laughs> I never talk to them. <laughs> Anyway, 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 okay. forget that. Not funny. I left. I didn't laugh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's because you don't have humor, I guess. You're not funny. No. You're such a serious person. Any, anyway, 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 it's Friday okay. and we watched movies. Yes, let's movie on. Let's movie on. Today mm. we watched uh, Armageddon and the Broadway melody yeah. from 1929. Hmm. So, I'm going to, in my very attractive voice, my low voice, I'm going to tell you about Armageddon. Okay. This is a movie. It has Bruce Willis hmm. and a whole bunch of other people. Oh, yeah. In which you may talk about later. <clears throat> not not okay. yet, because I'm talking. It's my turn. Yeah, uh, it's true. It, yes, I know it's true. I said it. It's not a one-man show. N- no. Usually movies only have Bruce Willis. <laughs> yeah. It's not a movie if it doesn't only have Bruce Willis. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> not the only one in the movie. Exactly. Anyway, Bruce Willis is a oil driller guy. Yeah. He drills holes mm. to catch some oil. Mm. Like fish. 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 He catches fish. But he doesn't catch fish. He catches oil. Fish oil. Fish oil. Omega threes. Yeah. Um that's it. Yeah. And there's a giant meteor coming towards Earth and NASA is like Bruce Willis, you have to save the day by drilling a hole into this meteor thing. And he was like, okay. So he takes his friends out to space and they have adventures. Yeah. That's the best summary I can give you. Yeah. I'm going to tell you about this movie again. Okay. (laughs) I made it sound like I was going to re-say everything I just said. Okay. That's not what I meant. Am I cutting in? No. (laughs) No, hold on. Hold on. I I guess. (laughs) Maybe on the side, just for fun. Yeah, okay. Putting in the outtakes or something. Hmm. Um, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I got lost into the movie. Yeah. I I noticed that I was very focused. It had my attention. Hmm. It was very exciting. Yeah. It's a good movie. It is. And that's my review. Yeah. Please tell me everything you have to say about Armageddon. Yeah. So, it's a big rock going towards Earth. So, yeah. Bruce Willis had to drill and blow the rock. Are you serious? (laughs) Are you keeping that? Mm -hmm. What? Are you... I'm mad. Yeah. This movie is directed by Michael Bay. And he directed a movie called The Rock. Just He likes rocks. Yeah. This movie has a lot of actors that uh, you might recognize, like Bruce Willis, Mm. and Ben Affleck, and Liv Taylor, and Michael Clark Duncan, 
and Owen Wilson, of course. Oh, yeah. He's been in a movie with Jackie Chan. Yeah. And Jason Isaacs. He's He has also been in a movie with Jackie Chan, the tuxedo. Hamilton. Oh, uh, Peter Stormare. Yeah. Mm. He played a Russian. He was yeah. really funny. Yeah. I think he was my favorite character. Mine actually. too. Yeah. I love his character in this movie. And um, who else? Billy Bob Thornton. Mm. Steve Buscemi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. A lot of uh, funny guys and interesting guys and girls. Not that many girls, but it's a guy-heavy movie, I guess. Mm. Funny thing about The Rock and this movie is that the guy who plays the president in this movie, he plays the president in The Rock, too. Oh, he's really good at being the president. Yeah. So I see these two movies being, like, in the same universe. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Does The Rock have The Rock in it? Uh, No, but it has Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. It has a rock. Yeah, it, it has um, Alcatraz. Okay. It, also known as The Rock. Okay, gotcha. Yes. And uh, that movie is also really, really... That's awesome movie. Um, I hope it's on the list. If not, it should be. Anyhow, uh, this movie, uh, very cool. Uh, good effects. Um, funny characters. Some drama. A love story. Yeah, it, it has a lot of things. It was kind of sad for a bit. Yes, that is true. But uh, yeah, my... Um, Review is that I also really like it. That is a good review. <laughs> yeah, I love our reviews. That's <laughs> Armageddon from 1998. Uh, now over to a movie from 1929. And that's The Broadway Melody. Okay, so this movie is about two sisters and their goal at getting up on a stage and uh, singing and dancing and stuff. And then it was about, like, a love story, too. I mean, it has some guys in it. You're nailing this. Yeah. You're doing great. Yeah, thank you. Please continue. Because one guy, he's, like, rich and uh, takes, like, advantage of one of the sisters. Or he, like, buys her... Everything. Uh, yeah, expensive stuff and all that, just to get with her. And she falls for it for a long period of the movie. <laughs> so, and there's another guy who's a better guy, also like a singer, a singer and... And he, yeah, okay, I I won't tell the whole story, but it's about that. The sisters and some guys. Do you have something to add? The sisters have an act, and they're trying to rise to stardom. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's kind of what I tried to say. That is what you tried to say, with many words. So, yeah, that's it. Did I miss anything? No, not really. No. No, that was it. This was the first musical to win an Oscar? Yeah, it said so. I didn't really look anything out. Um, no. I mean, you you put this on the list, so I guess you have more knowledge about this movie than I do. I probably don't. Okay. This is probably one of the musicals that I found off of a list of must-see or, yeah. like, classic Class. musicals. Yeah, because I think you put this on the list when you went, you know deep on the earlier movies in... Maybe. I think so. And uh, this must have been like... I mean, it is some... It wasn't the first musical. I know I put on the first musical. Okay. On the list. I don't know where it is. I don't know what it's called. No. Anymore. No. I don't either. either. But it's like... I mean, since it's like the first winning an Oscar, it it is a milestone in that regard, too. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. This is from 29. Wasn't that the year the Oscars started? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So, Maybe. So it would have been weird if another movie got an Oscar before this. Mm. If that was the first first Oscar yeah. ceremony. But yeah, this movie, I don't know. I mean, it was good for being of that time, I guess. 
with all the movies we've seen so far, it's not a very special story, or the plot isn't very special. But that's probably because we've seen other movies before this that that's come after this one, I guess. Mm. So yeah, I mean it's it's okay. I it's not a top ten or anything like that. No. Me, but it's not the worst either. And also they kind of make fun of a guy uh, with the stutter. <laughs> <laughs> he was fun. Yeah, he was fun. Uh, so what did you think about this movie? I thought that it, I mean, yeah, it probably wasn't a favorite. No. But it was fun to watch. It was really interesting. Yes. Coming is... from 29. And I thought it was kind of funny when one of the sisters was like, what was she doing? Like getting herself made up and she was wearing like a tank top and shorts. Oh, yeah. And someone rang at the doorbell and she's like, oh, I gotta get dressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want to embarrass myself. No. And it was like, I would probably open the door anyway. Y yeah. <laughs> Nowadays. <laughs> you, yeah, you have way too much clothes yeah. on <laughs> to be embarrassed. It was a fun, interesting watch. Yeah. Uh, and that's my thoughts. Yeah. Uh, I don't regret watching it, but then again, I don't think I'll be watching it again. Probably not. No. Well, I never know. No. <laughs> but I'd rather watch this one again than another movie called, with a roof fiddler. A roof fiddler. <laughs> A guy playing a fiddle on, on a roof? A roof or a road or what, wherever he plays the fiddle. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd rather watch this one because this isn't that long. Okay. It's just one hour and 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, Armageddon was like four hours. <laughs> no, it was two and a half. Two hours and 30 minutes. That wasn't that far. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but it went by fast, though. Well, with the exception that we we had to pause it like fifty times, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, other than that, it, it it's not like it's a boring movie. It happened. No, uh, things happen. It was very exciting. Yeah, I think we're done for or with the first part. <laughs> I think we're dumb. Yeah, I think that too. Uh, so, at least during the first part yeah at least during the first part so maybe we should go to break now <laughs> let's go to bed to break oh okay we'll be right back okay bye we're bye. gonna take a break <laughs> yes uh see you soon goodbye bye We're back. We're back. We are. Wow. Wow. That's uh, Owen Wilson. Did you have a nice break? I did. You did. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Matthias. Did, did you, by the way? We, yeah. Cool. Yeah. What are we doing today? Uh, we are doing... I mean... We, Let me tell you what we're yeah, doing. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm are... I'm going to tell you what we're doing. You're the talker here. Matthias. You're like Chris <clears throat> Tucker. Huh. <laughs> we have a problem that we, uh, we share a problem. Yeah, we struggle. We struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the problem is, we struggle. <laughs> yeah. It um, is a struggle. <laughs> it really is. Um, we both have a really difficult time with making decisions. Yeah. So, I thought... Being the educational podcast that we are. Yeah, and not uh, at all silly. No, we're not silly. We're educational. Mm. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, we, what was I saying? I, I completely forgot what I just said. Brought to you by Open Eyes, because WikiHow was way too long. Okay. I didn't feel like reading through all of it. No. Um, we want to keep it short, so... Right? Always. Mm. How to make a decision. Yeah. We want to keep it short every other weekend. <laughs> yeah, I get so. Mm. Okay. How to make a decision. Decision. A decision. <laughs> an incision. <laughs> yeah. How to okay. make an incision. Hey, open eyes. How to make an incision. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. 
How to make an incision. No. Making making an incision typically involves medical procedures and should only be done by trained professionals. If you're asking about a specific type of incision, like in surgery, it's best to leave it to the experts. What if I am an expert and I'm just asking <laughs> over? Yeah. I forgot how to do this. Yeah, and I mean, uh, second opinion. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, AI should know these things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. How to make a decision for okay. us people who uh, are very, very bad at these things. Mm -hmm. uh, what is something that you often can't decide over? Wow. If you have two options, often one of those kind of decisions. <laughs> often it's about food. Okay. Because I want food and I want so many different things. Okay. Food related. Mm -hmm. I think that's the hardest part for me. So the first step out of, I have seven, mm -hmm. clarify the decision. So. Are you coming up with it? It doesn't say on the. Well, I'm trying to come up with an example. But okay. Do you have an example? If you're thinking of food, yeah. What are you deciding between? Yeah. Uh, do I want lasagna or do I want pizza? You know what? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> Yes. All right. Pizza or lasagna. So understand the problem or choice. What the heck was I that? I kicked the desk. Oh, I thought it. Okay. That was I me. Again. Thought it was a ghosty. It was a ghosty foot. Ah. It came out of nowhere. All right. So understand the problem or choice you're facing. Mm. I understand. I like one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I understand that you're trying to decide between pizza and lasagna. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, so the second step here is to gather information, collect relevant facts, and consider different perspectives. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I want to ask as many other people as possible, or what does that Collect mean? relevant facts and consider different perspectives. So, yeah, I guess if you want to, you can ask around. Yeah. Hey, should I have pizza or lasagna? Yeah, and do you know uh, things about those things? Yeah. Try to learn as much as you possibly yeah. can about pizza and what, lasagna. What do you know about pizza? <laughs> mm, okay. And what do you know about lasagna? It has layers. Like cake. And onions. Yeah, but everybody likes cake. No. Oh. Yeah. Step three, consider alternatives. Brainstorm different options and their potential outcomes. Mm hmm Another option. Okay, so would like be what? Like a cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. all, That's another decision yeah. you have to make. <laughs> yeah, all very healthy mm -hmm. foods. Okay, so that's it. That was that. Okay. Number four, evaluate. Assess the pros and cons of each option based on your values, priorities, and goals. So your values. What is it that you enjoy the most out of these food options? What do you like most about pizza? Um, the taste. Okay. And... Um, a full stomach. It's really good with the, you know, <clears throat> feeling good parts while eating it and stuff like that. Okay. You don't feel as good afterwards, but it's still worth it, I'd say. Mm. Yeah, that's what I think about pizza. What about lasagna? You know, the taste, okay. that it, it tastes good, and that you get, like, um, full, mm. and um, that it, the, <laughs> you know, feeling good part while eating it, mm -hmm. and um, it's not as good afterwards, but it's worth it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what about cheeseburgers? <laughs> yeah. You know, the taste, and... Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> that you know uh, the being full you know and um, <laughs> uh, the feeling good part mm -hmm. while eating it yeah but <laughs> you don't feel as good afterwards but it's worth it okay hmm. uh, what are the cons about pizza so that's the that it doesn't feel so good afterwards mm. I think that's the only con. 
and that you get fat. Okay. What about lasagna? Uh, I would say that it's the not feeling so good afterwards and uh, that you get fat. Okay. How about cheeseburgers? Uh, I... I would go out on a limb here and say that it is the not feeling so good afterwards and that you get fat. All right. Would there be another alternative that you can think of that doesn't give you these cons? (sighs) But maybe shares the same pros? I mean, I don't know. Is it? Do you know? I don't even know if you think like me with the other stuff I said. Mm. What about a sandwich? Does that give you the same results? I mean, that's more like a snack. Okay. That's not really food. It's not a meal. I would absolutely not say it's a meal. Okay. Because that's snacks. So, yeah, I don't know. Soup? Soup is good. Mm. Do you feel good after eating soup? I can. Yeah, I think so, maybe. Do you have a favorite soup? Uh, the one you make. All right. <laughs> Which one? You know, the one where you dip the bread and... and <laughs> that one. You, the best adjectives. Yeah. Um... Okay. You know which one I mean? Well, I make like three different kinds of soup. Okay, what kinds of soups? I make chicken noodle soup. Okay. Potato soup and cheesy broccoli soup. I th- um, potato soup, is that? With potatoes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought it was the one with broccoli. Uh, which one is the one with broccoli? With cheesy broccoli. Okay, yeah. That's the one you like. Yeah, I like all three, I think. I don't know if I had all three, but I would assume that I like them all. I feel like you probably have by now. Yeah, I don't know, but I know I had soup here and I liked it. Okay. And also salad. I mean, salad is good, but I don't feel as, you know, full. I don't get the... a lot. Yeah, but I, I never get that... Uh, full stomach feeling from salad. Okay. And it doesn't really give me that feeling good while eating it. Okay. That good feeling. Does it maybe give you the feeling that you're making a good decision? Maybe afterwards. Mm. Yeah. Like a, I'm proud of you. You made a good decision. Mm. This was a, this was a good choice. Yeah. For my body. Yeah, I guess. That might be it. Okay. Okay. Number five. Mm. The tough part. Wow. Make the decision. Oh, no. Choose the option that aligns best with your object- objectives. <laughs> objections. <laughs> objections. <laughs> Objection. So. Sustained. Are you picking pizza, lasagna, cheeseburger, soup, or salad? That's a lot of options now. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> you went what? from two to five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is more difficult now. <laughs> uh, I Wasn't this going to help? <laughs> uh, I want a good feeling and I want to feel full and I don't want to feel better. So I guess the soup. Soup is good. Soup is good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so number six is take action. Implement your decision and monitor its results. We need to have some soup and see how you feel afterwards. Yeah, and monitor. Monitor you. Monitor. I'm going to ask you like every... Monitory. Neither of us can talk. No, I know. This isn't working. Stroke. Okay, but... uh, We need to have soup and I'm going to monitor you like every three minutes. Have like a... A heart rate monitor and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you would have have like a camera and film me. That too. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you many times, how are you feeling? Oh, yeah. How are you feeling? Is this good? Mm. What's bad? What don't you like right now? Yeah, that's true. This is a YouTube video. (laughs) You should do that with all the my foods that I listed. All five of them. Okay. This is what we're going to do for our first YouTube video. Yeah. (laughs) See me eat for how long? Ten minutes. Yeah. Last one, number seven, reflect. 
Afterward, reflect on the outcome and learn from the experience to improve future decisions. So if you decide soup is your thing, maybe that's all you should ever eat. <laughs> okay. Wow, that would be sad. I only eat soup. Yeah. I'm on a soup diet. Yeah, only soup for me. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> only soup for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine the weight you would lose. So oh, yeah, that's maybe true. Maybe you should go on a soup diet. Maybe I should. Should we do a soup diet together? Yeah. Diarrhea buddies. Um, can I keep that? No. <laughs> Gross. Maybe we'll have bread. We'll have some bread just to, like, have something. Yeah. Solid. Otherwise, we know, like, uh, yeah, I have to go to the bathroom. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, remember, Matthias. Remember. Remember. Hmm? I'm telling you, remember. Okay. It's okay to seek advice from others or take your time if needed. Trust your instincts, but also rely on rational analysis. So, hold on. Just wondering now. If we're gonna go through all of these foods and film you, yeah, <laughs> this can be one after the other. Are you gonna have, like, a whole pizza and then, like, a ton of lasagna and a cheeseburger? <laughs> I'm thinking that it's different weeks. Okay. Okay, so I have to film you, like, five weeks in a row. Yeah. And then put it together at the Mm -hmm. end of the month. Yeah. Okay. And it would be cool if you can do, like I did with the Jackie Chan video, uh, that I'm starting to take a bite of one thing and then just switch it to another. (laughs) I'm not sure how talented I am. (laughs) Like, (laughs) pizza, (laughs) soup bread... (laughs) It would be funny. I mean, at least as an intro, maybe. That would yeah. be cool. I have a pizza here, home, and, and then... And then uh, you have to use the other hand. The uh, other hand with, like, a... Lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. <laughs> cheeseburger, home. <laughs> fun idea we'll see we'll see yeah so uh are we about done oh um, yeah i guess that was the end of that this is good right i'm out of sips me too you're also out of sips so that means that it's time to wrap this up yeah so do you have anything to say to the people i do i just have to think about it mm. um if you made it this far into the episode and you kind of enjoyed it Go on to our Instagram, go on our Instagram, and comment on a post. Do not private message me. Do people do that? They do. Actually, um, I did get one response from the last episode. I asked about grapefruits. Hold on. I promised that I would read comments about grapefruits. Mm-hmm. And I got one from my sister, Heather, because she's out there. Can I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we... I have to read her name. Yeah. It's I, a requirement. I mean, she has been here with us, and we said her name. That... She, she's been a guest yeah, so... a couple times. Yeah. And she said, I like grapefruits. <laughs> Occasionally, I'll make salmon with a grapefruit salsa, but I don't do it often because I don't like how messy it is. Grapefruits can be very juicy. Mm-hmm. And that's what we got I about don't know, grapefruits. I don't know how much... Uh, I don't... I'm not sure I've tasted grapefruit. Have I? Not from me, because I don't like them that much. No. I think they have a weird taste. Flavor. I'm not even sure what it is. It's... It's a fruit... Or is it a fish? It's it's not a fish. Oh. What? I don't know. It's a grapefruit. Oh. It's a... Oh, I don't remember the name. I've tasted grapes. Yeah, and it's a fruit of a grape. Oh. What is it in Swedish? Where's my translator? I'm here. Hi. Grapefruit. Yep. Okay. Sure. Wait. Okay. That's... um, That looks like a... Blood orange. But it's not. No, okay. Because I had that. I don't know it's about... It's a bit pinker. Okay. I was going to sneeze. You and don't it. have to cry. I was going to sneeze and it never came. Okay. But, okay. So you don't like grapefruit? Not really, no. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I had it, so... Okay. Well, if 
you're listening and you made it this far into the episode and you kind of liked it, then go on to our Instagram to the number 76 wow. post, because mm. that's this episode, mm. and tell me a fun fact about the galaxy. Oh, okay. Space. Keeping it space-themed after um, Um, Armageddon. mm -hmm. So, the Milky Way. Yeah. Anything space-related. Spacey. Anything spacey. Not Kevin Spacey. Not Kevin, no. no. But, like, outer space? Outer spacey. Mm Mm-hmm. Or an alternative, if you have a story about, like, UFOs. Oh, yeah. Or, like, aliens. I also want to hear about that. Yeah. And um, you can write in any language you want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you're... If you feel like, uh, I don't want to write in English or Swedish or Chinese, write in, write in whatever you want. And we'll... if you prefer Russian, yeah, you can write in Russian. Yeah, sure. We don't discriminate. No, and we'll figure out what you're trying to say. Yes. We won't read it in Russian, but no. we will figure out what you're saying. I will look at it and think that it's pretty impressive. Yeah. And then I'll try to translate it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that was the episode. Yeah. It was a really fun one, and I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy this? I did. Awesome. Good. Good. All right. Well, we have our next live Mad Libs on June 1st. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you to those who uh, participated last live Mad Libs. Mm-hmm. It was very fun. You can yeah. find it on YouTube now. Yeah. We have a new point of view. Yes. <laughs> you can watch it on YouTube. It's probably disappeared from Twitch by now because I don't think I saved it there. Okay. I took too long. Mm. My bad. All right. Thank you. And we'll be back next week. Yes. Anything else? Uh, no, I okay. think right. I we're think we good. Can end it with goodbye. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good- goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Roasty Toasty Ghosty podcast. If you kind of liked our episode, follow us on the social medias. We are on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Roasty Toasty Ghosty Pod. And Twitch at Roasty Toasty Ghosty Podcast, where we play live man libs every month. Consider supporting us on Buzzsprout, where you can find deleted content and our entire movie night lists. We hope you enjoyed this episode just as we enjoyed making it and we'll be back with another one next tuesday on a podcast provider near you goodbye matthias goodbye lauren